In this video, you will learn everything you have to know about dieting. Can I be your superhero? The major reason why most people don't reach their fitness goals is because they neglect their nutrition or diet. No matter how much you train sa gym, kahit 7 days a week ka na sa gym, ay gano ka bigat yung binubuhat mo. If you don't eat properly, your muscles won't grow, you won't achieve your dream body. That's a guarantee. Remember this, our muscles grow outside the gym, not inside the gym. That's how important dieting is. So here is the rule. If you want to gain weight, then you eat more. If you want to lose weight, then you eat less. Ganun lang kasimple. Pero, ang goal natin is not to simply gain weight or lose weight. Kasi if ang goal mo lang to, is to gain weight, well, kumain ka lang ng kumain, right? Pero ang mangyayari doon, ang mas store sa'yo is fats, not muscles. So our objective should be to build muscle and to lose fats. How do we do that? By working out properly and by dieting correctly. For us to fully understand dieting, so kailangan malaman mo natin yung following terms. Protein, carbs, fats, and calories. Okay, so whenever we eat, we consume what we call macronutrients. So actually, that one, we call this macronutrients or macros. Alright, so ano yung protein? Protein is the most important macronutrient kasi meron siyang amino acids that help build and repair muscles. Kaya sobrang sikat yung mga high-protein diets. Good sources are chicken, fish, beef, eggs. Carbohydrates naman, or carbs, ito yung most misunderstood because akala ng mga tao, basta kumain ka ng carbs, tataba ka, you will gain weight. No. Actually, that's not entirely correct. I'll explain to you later why. So, carbs provide energy to our body. If mag-workout ka tapos kulang yung carbs mo, may feel mo parang ang hina mo sa gym. So, ang ginagawa ko dyan, one hour before workout, I eat food na may carbs. So, mas may malakas ka sa gym. If you're stronger, then you can lift heavier weights. In turn, mas makakabuild ka ng muscles. Okay, there's two types of carbs. First is simple carbs. And the other one is complex carbs. So, ano yung simple carbs? Well, ito yung mga sweets. Ito yung masasarap kainin. Ice cream, chocolate, cakes, pasta, pizza. And simple carbs yan. Complex carbs naman, these are your healthy carbs. Brown rice, wheat bread, fruits and vegetables, cereals, oatmeals. So let's move on to fats. Fats naman, on the other hand, regulate our hormones. For muscle building, yung important is the testosterone level. The higher your testosterone level, the easier for you to build muscles. Dapat lang healthy fats, okay? Actually, dalawang types yung fats eh. You have what you call saturated fats or trans fats and unsaturated fats. Unsaturated, these are your healthy fats. Pero let's start with saturated. Saturated fats actually increase the bad cholesterol from fried food, pizza, cakes. So we wash the saturated fats. Unsaturated fats, naman, well, it, these are your healthy fats: avocados, peanut butter, fish oil, egg yolk. If you want to be healthy, well, you eat unsaturated fats. Okay. In summary, protein is for muscle building, carbs for energy, and fats. For our health. So we have to consume the right amount of protein, carbs, and fats every day. So let's move on to calories. So ano naman yung calories? Well, calorie is an energy we get from food. Okay? Basta narinig mo yung word na calories, yung walang energy siya. So I'll give you an example. For you to drive a car, kailangan nun ng gas or fuel, right? So your car burns the fuel in order for it to move. In the same way na yung body natin needs calories. So our body burns calories in order for it to function. But, yung excess calories, yun yung calories na hindi na-burn nung body natin, if you don't work out, then ma-store siya as fats. Okay? Kaya tayo tumataba. Now, let's go back to our objective, which is to build muscles and to lose fats. How do we do that? By working out properly and by consuming the right amount of calories. So, kaya sobrang important nung daily calorie intake or daily calories natin. I'll show you an illustration. Okay, so imagine this is your calories for the day. Alright? And this level, we call it the maintenance level. Okay. Let's assume na 2,000 calories yan. 2,000 calories. Example lang yung 2,000 calories ha. Siyempre, iba-iba yan depending on the person. So, sir, ano yung maintenance level? If you eat at maintenance level, you will not gain weight, 
you will not lose weight. Now, how do you build muscles? Well, you need to work out and you eat above the maintenance level. We call it caloric surplus. We also call this bulking. Okay. Now, how do you lose fats? Well, you work out properly and you eat at below maintenance level. We call this caloric deficit okay, or also called cutting. Alright, so if you want to build muscles, you eat at above maintenance. If you want to lose fats, you eat below maintenance. Pero siempre with proper workout. Okay, so let's summarize everything we learned from this video. Our goal should be to build muscles and to lose fats. How do we do that? By working out properly and by dieting correctly. Alright, how do we diet correctly? By consuming the right amount of calories. If you're bulking, it should be above maintenance. If you're cutting, it should be below maintenance. And from these calories, dapat alam natin how much should be coming from protein, carbs, and fats. In the next video, I'll explain to you yung simple computation. I made it very simple to compute for calories, proteins, carbs, and fats. Alright? And once to compute natin yun, that will be your guide on how much you can eat every day. But as what to eat, kung ano gusto mong kainin, then it's up to you. Alright, last, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this channel to your family and friends. Class dismissed. I'll see you next meeting. Mm -hmm.